are on the brink of of the speed of sound. So, There's a lot of pieces um, coming off. There's a lot of a lot of lot of lot of boosters burning off here, guys. Then we'll hear it subsonic. Yeah, and I. Oh, and almost real quick, almost a reverse of. I'm sorry, Jesse. Almost a reverse of before. We see the Earth starting to come into view. We've got <gasps> we've got sunrise there, over over the Indian Ocean. So this is this is going to look different from any of the reentries we've had before. And it was specifically so, like, we, we get as much daylight as possible to see how ship does this. So, bled off Where about a third of orbital velocity. we yeah, still got 18,000 kilometers to go. Line. That's exactly what I was going to point out, is that we're getting a lot clearer view of the Earth in the background with Dude, uh, the different temperatures this is awesome. we're seeing with the different colors um, of that plasma around the ship, which is really, really cool to see. Again, um, we are pushing the limits of ship today. Um, but so far, everything is looking pretty nominal. Um, yeah. We'll see how the next few minutes goes. <laughs> yeah. Like we've said before, don't be surprised if this is not entirely smooth sailing <laughs> all the way down to the ocean surface. Similar to Flight 5, we are targeting the same splashdown location in the Indian Ocean, but we are not expecting to recover the vehicle. Right, and we were getting some glimpses of the flaps. The flaps. <laughs> it's giving so me far, so much anxiety right now, dude. We're not seeing <laughs> but, any burn through. There's yeah. those flaps again. No burn through. Uh, that hinge area, Something is burning off though. There. It's it's not um, the flaps. That's great news so. for us for now. Again, the next few minutes could change as we continuously push <laughs> those limits. Something yeah, once, once we something's burning, down, and it ain't the flat, so subsonic, I hope it's not something, something important. It's about 1,200 kilometers an hour. Uh, once we're down below that, that's that's when we're going to get our nose shot. down and, and <laughs> get that so more good. aggressive angle of attack. Normally, we're just belly yes. flop right into the yes. water, He's pretty made. much that position. Warm. Uh, but if we're going to be able to do return to launch sites, uh, we're going to want to be able to fly with a little bit more of an angle of attack, get you a little bit more range as you're coming through. And so this will this will be just a test to see Good ones, quite how far can we push it. And obviously, we're going to do these kind of tests oh, way okay. out here in super remote areas before you ever try to bring a ship back to a place like Starbase. Starship remains on a good entry trajectory. External temperatures are coming down. All right, great news there. That tells us the we You're not out of the woods yet, the but that's good news. <laughs> that's good so news, man. Come on, hold together, uh, 31. These temperatures to Diamond hand bananas. Down. Once again, we are targeting a soft splashdown in the Indian Ocean uh, around the, off the northwest coast of, of Australia. We can see these beautiful views of planet Earth coming in. Yeah, this yeah. is very different. Where yeah, it's we a little. We had nighttime mm -hmm. views oh. of the ship as it was re-entering. And now we've got daylight. It is about an hour or so after sunrise. Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's ocean. getting a little so spicy right there. Cool see see it? Yeah, and it might not uh -oh. seem like it makes a huge difference, uh -oh. but we uh -oh. do get a little bit more oh. as well for the cameras oh, no. have, um, which is very <laughs> beneficial for us to visually uh -oh. Stay together. see anything and try and correlate uh -oh. that to any of the sensors or data that we have on the vehicle. Exactly. That Give me the rules. She's got Captain. She can't take much more so of this. could have the daylight in order to oh, improve our together. observations of the vehicle. So not only are we getting all the raw data from all the sensors that are on board Starship, but we also have multiple cameras and assets <laughs> oh, out there geez. that are watching the vehicle and will also be able to tell us with this visual story that is also very, very important. And I as see it, we Phil. get down a little bit lower, the Raptor engines are in their chill phase right now, so just essentially getting them primed. Okay, we've bled off two-thirds orbital velocity. So those three center engines. All she's got to do is just survive the dynamic pressure now. Burn, Most so of the reentry we'll heating is gone. Oh, 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 something's still burning really off down, down there. Fire off those Dude, engines look at how scorched it is. And then do Yo. that final landing burn. That should be coming up in just a little over, just under five minutes from now. Uh, and I see it. I see it, Blue Player. I see it. Some call outs on Transonic and Subsonic. Come on, baby. Hold down. together. Again, Don't worry. Once, once you She'll hear hold Starship together. is Subsonic. Hear me, baby. Hold keep together. Keep a close eye on the flaps. They, they're going to be they're going to be working overtime essentially uh, to maintain control of the ship as we as we get a little more aggressive with this. Almost there. Oh, <laughs> we can see that <laughs> <laughs> maximum entry dynamic pressure. It's on fire. 
<laughs> All right, great call out there. But we can see on this view here that we do have some heating there. That's on so what looks like one of the forward flaps on Starship. This is to be expected. We knew that the vehicle uh, would perform differently than what we had seen on flight. But five. she made it, dude. This that thing's remarkably really good intact. Because it tells us what parts of the vehicle at this, you know, what will soon All right. be a higher angle of attack. All right, she's gonna down. make. She's gonna make it unless she's, uh, dude. Sound. it because this stainless is all heat got all heated up. It might be brittle. It might go to do the flip and burn uh, so yeah, and just explode. News, actually looks Let's like hope we're not out of the woods yet. Off there. Yeah, it's a little burn through. Um, again, it's quite it the observation. To know when we start seeing that um, through the ship's descent as well. So like Kate was saying, it, we're getting some really good data here. Um, looks like uh, the windows down should be happening than the one pretty that has soon a here, mother. Burn through, which is some good news. Uh, again, constantly watching. We've got a couple minutes until we're expecting uh, to make it all the way back down to Earth. Exactly. And like we said before, uh, we are not expecting to recover Testing the ship. Testing pur purposes, Although, Kalani. I don't know the exact reason why they're on the leeward yeah, side. Nice bonus if it happened, but it's not yes, really hired. our expectations Or I'm doing today. it on my phone. Um, we really want to push it the so hardware, you guys can't as we've been see saying. It. But really, the telemetry and the data and the video... It's Remo this time, but I, I do tweet and stream at the same time. Truly what we're I try to keep it on the And will help inform the future designs of this vehicle. Okay. Guys, uh, we're through the heating the here. She's going to go subsonic here uh, in a moment. What you're seeing there is the flaps adjusting. Um, we have a camera. Oh, on this one is of the so cool. That were, that this is the so that vent over there. there is from them thermally conditioning the Raptors. They got to prime them and get them ready to fire, and get them ready to fire again the for the landing burn. Starship is slowing down past Mark 1. See? Subsonic. And call outs aligning with this. You can see the orientation. Come on, hold the together, the baby. starting to change. You can follow that graphic at the bottom of your screen. Um, again, that what is a shot! Look at this. The All right. The so watch, they're gonna dip the so nose down. This is Starship has started the subsonic burn. Gonna... Drop remains on a good trajectory. I was gonna say, watch, this is, they're gonna this dip. Is when things will will start to get a little interesting. So this is when we're we're moving slower than the speed of sound. You can see that nose slowly start to tip down, uh, and we're gonna try and maintain flap control the whole way. But we are just just a couple minutes away from hopefully doing a landing flip. Uh, oh, this is sketchy. This is sketchy. This is sketchy. The, 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 the vehicle, it's going to get very yeah, aerodynamically cool unstable with this the nose like that. Like that. Oh, please, uh, please stay together. Please stay together. This is nuts. We saw the ship come back. You see through, it? Did you see the nose come back up? Oh, this perspective, I think, helps inform that. That was close. That was close to breaking. Down a little further and really be flying nose first. Um, this higher angle of attack, you know, we're intentionally doing it to stress those aft flaps and that will help inform the limits of flap control in order to collect data for future landing profiles. We're going to dip the nose again. I mean, we're looking, we're looking good so far. We've just got about five kilometers in altitude to go. We'll, we'll ignite the engines when we're still just a couple hundred meters uh, over the ground. Do that flip. So she was passing through five kilometers altitude. Remains on a good trajectory. Everything's looking good. I have a feeling this is going to look so cool as it passes through the clouds. Obligatory shout out to the Two miles. avionics team on Star Trek. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. Stay together. Stay together. Stay together, baby. One, uh, one mile. The, uh, Raptor engines will relight and help flip the booster back up. This is a more severe flip given the orientation. Uh, the engines will shut down prior Thousand meters. to the making impact prior to the vehicle making Look at this thing water. control. This is awesome. Ship is doing great so far. Engine relight. There's, There's those engines there. relighting. What a great reorientation by Starship. Dude! Dude! Oh, that's sick! Wow. Holy cow! She's alive! She's alive! Yes! Yes! 
awesome! It's on the floor of fire, but it's in one piece. The one that's on ship and it made it all the way back down to Earth. I am shocked, to be honest. It made it! Oh, I love this thing! The fact that it survived all the way through while flying a lesser gen heat shield is just absolutely incredible. And uh turns out the vehicle had more capability than our calculations predicted. And that is why we test like tank the heat. Exactly why we do that. And those views right as well. It just tanked it. It was like yeah, whatever. Because of Starlink, we were able to get the views all the way down, as well as the buoys. I think the stainless steel buckled when it hit the water though. I think it cracked. Cool. It cracked like an egg. Uh, we want to, oh my goodness. Unfortunately, wrap up the show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll say congratulations. Diamond hair.